Pads are back on. It is practice day number six from Oxnard, California, and this is Inside Cowboys Training Camp driven by Ford. Alongside Nick Eatman, I'm Kyle Yeomans here from the West Coast where the Cowboys just wrapped up their sixth practice of training camp. We're still but like a third of the way through. There's a long way to go throughout the preseason, but what did you see from the practice field today? Well, I saw a little bit more physicality and a little bit of chippiness going on there with, uh, with some running backs. And it's always kind of weird with how physical are you really? Like, are you going to tackle? Are we going to thud? What's your 100% versus my 50%? <laughs> All that stuff. We saw a little bit. I thought we might get a first fight. We didn't, but but the running backs we didn't like getting dumped to the ground, so they, they kind of lowered the shoulder back a little bit. It was fun. It was fun, and there was a lot of work in the ground game, a lot of that physicality, yes. and there was a lot of dust and dirt getting kicked up today. That means the physicality and the pads are back. But we also got to talk about the wide receivers. Yeah. James Washington, it, it, news came out yesterday after practice, six to eight weeks he will be out with Jones' fracture in his foot. Uh, a big loss for the Cowboys. Yeah, without a doubt. Now already thinking that Michael Gallup's going to take a little bit of time to get back, not ready for that week one or two. And then, then you know, what happens after that? They were hoping for that experience out of Washington, and now what? So uh, it doesn't seem like the Cowboys right, are going to be hitting the panic button. They're going to let these young players play and play it out. But you know they got their eyes on some veterans. Uh, and I think from what I hear, there's some guys maybe not ready for camp just yet. So they're going to let it play out, but I guarantee they, they're looking. Lots of youth in that wide receiver room. He was a veteran up at the top of that list. How do they react after that? Well, I think you just got to go with guys like Noah Brown, Simi Fajoko for now, TJ Vasher, Dennis Houston. Those guys have done well. Jalen Tolbert, the rookie. But, you know, it puts a lot more pressure on CD, too. No, it definitely does because CD's got to be at the top of his game. Yeah. Then you got rookies like Jalen Tolbert. He's got to be at the top of his a little bit earlier than anticipated. So plenty to talk about in terms of wide receivers, but what about the guys going up against them? When we come back, we switch spots. Nick Eatman, instead, it's Anthony Brown live on the show when we come back with – a whole lot more of Inside Cowboys Training Camp driven by Ford. Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford is brought to you by AT&T, official sponsor of the Dallas Cowboys. Sleep Number, the official sleep and wellness partner of the Dallas Cowboys. And by Ford F-Series, the best-selling truck in Texas. This segment is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. Welcome back into Inside Cowboys Training Camp, driven by Ford, and what a pleasure it is to be joined live here by Anthony Brown, cornerback for your Dallas Cowboys. And Anthony, I just want to start off by saying a fantastic start to camp, but what does it look like for you here over these first six practices? You know, just coming out, um, being the best version of myself, and um, trying to improve every day and stay consistent for this team. Now, you had a great year in 2021. What's the, the biggest thing that you're trying to improve upon and take that next step here in the 2022? I would definitely say um, catch all balls. You know, I feel like I dropped like five picks last year. So if I could add on to that, even better. So you had three picks last year. You felt like you dropped five. So you're rivaling with, with Trayvon to get up there in terms of that pick total. Oh, for sure. I'll be right there, man, right there. And one in the playoffs too. So could have ended up with nine if, if we catch all those balls. Yeah. Now this is year number six for you, correct? You're going into seven. So you're six down going into seven. Now, what has been the biggest change in your game since year one, all the way up until this point? I'll say uh, confidence and technique. You know, uh, the older I get, the, the bigger my confidence is, mentally stronger, and uh, my technique just getting sharper and sharper. Where do you feel like you've grown the most or who's helped you grow the most in terms of those aspects of your game? Definitely uh, my DB coach, Coach Al Harris. You know, um, every day just working on those little things, details, every day. Um, you know, he played the game, so he can tell me through his experience, you know, the things that I could get better at. Now, how, how much is it or how much does it help rather to have a guy like that who played at such a high level and, and had so much success in the NFL to know, hey, he knows what he's talking about a little bit and it's, it's going to translate to your game? It helps a lot, man. You know, I used to watch him, so I know he knows what he's talking about. And um, he could demonstrate it. He, can't, he could more than just tell me. He could go out there and show me, too. He still can move at his age now. And, um, you know, it's a blessing to have him on our side. You think if you guys are in a pinch and you need a couple guys at corner out there with you that he could put the pads back on? 
He probably could give us a play or two. I don't know if he could cover a fade, but he probably could give us a play. <laughs> that's that's where you draw the line is covering the fade. Now, uh, what about the guys around you? I mentioned Trayvon Diggs. Jordan Lewis had a fantastic year last year. It really feels like the cornerback room is a unit that's continuing to grow and get better every year. Uh, what is that chemistry like, and, and how much growth have you seen from the guys around you? You know, it's big. You know, we uh, we keep gelling. We keep stacking the years together. This is our third year with Trey. This is my um, sixth year with um, Jordan. And uh, we just want to keep getting better. Uh, we family, you know, we, we understanding each other better. The safeties knowing the corners and the nickels and the, um, them knowing us, vice versa. How much does that play out onto the field of, of having that, that camaraderie, having that chemistry in the classroom and then even through walkthroughs, but also knowing that, hey, if, if I'm able to do my job, I know the guy next to me is going to do it as well. Yeah, that, that, come, that comes over time, you know, like reps after reps after reps after walkthrough after meeting after practice, you know, hanging out off the field, you know, just, just being a friend to, to that guy. And um, we, just, we trust each other. That's what you need. Now, before we started this interview, you said, I just want to let them know that we've been working. What does is, what is a day look like for you as a cornerback and a, a training camp day so far? You know, you're going to wake up early, get your good breakfast in, go to, meet, go to meetings, um, Go to defensive meetings, then we're going to come out here and we're going to get our work in, you know, um, ball drills to start the day, get on, get after the receivers all day. After practice, we're going to get some more ball drills, some more technique things in, um, go back to meetings, watch what we did, correct the things we could correct, come out tomorrow and do it all over again. What's it like looking at your career now, seven years, this being your seventh, going into the NFL and, I mean, being a, a late day three draft pick and, and being able to grow the career that you have? I just want to keep growing and keep getting better, man. You know, the sky's the limit. Um, I feel like I could be even better than I was last year, so I just want to keep improving. Now, lots of high expectations if you're saying that. You had a great year last year. You've got family in town. How much does that mean to you to have them as a part of this? Oh, I, I need them. You know, that's my backbone. You know, that's, that's who I lean on and depend on every day. You know, they um, keep me strong, keep me up. Keep an eye on this guy, number three. He's not number 30 this year. He made the switch to three. Anthony Brown as, well, the cornerback room, one of the strongest units on that defense. Anthony, thanks for taking some time today. When we come back, we've got plenty more to come from practice day six on Inside Cowboys Training Camp, driven by Ford. This segment was brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. It means a lot because I know um, Dan Quinn really believes in me and he knows, you know, the ins and outs and he knows how to bring the best out of me. So um, I'm looking forward to working with him again. You said bring the best, what do you mean? Is that just how you put you in the scheme? Motivate. Scheme, just like, you know, put me in the best areas. You know, I feel like in the past areas I really haven't been able to just be in one spot. He's put me in multiple spots, so I feel comfortable with that. We just heard from Dante Fowler Jr. presented by Sleep Number back here with Nick Eatman. Special thanks to Anthony Brown for taking some time with us in that prior segment. But let's talk about Dante Fowler Jr. Speaking on the confidence level that Dan Quinn has in him. He's a veteran. He's had double-digit sack seasons in the past, but it's his versatility that Dan Quinn really wants to utilize. How can he be used best? Well, really with him, it's, it's no secret. Get off the edge and get to the quarterback. I mean, he's, he, the way his body frame is, he's not really a guy that's going to slide in the middle. He's going to be on that outside and that, that's okay we got other guys that can that can rush from the inside get around the edge play the run too can't just be you know loose about it you got to be able to play the run but I think you know he's had like you said 11 sacks now Aaron Donald was in the middle when he did that <laughs> but still it, you know he was a number three overall pick the guy's got talent Dan Quinn knows how to get it out of him and he's actually had a past with Dan Quinn as well, playing back at the University of Florida when Dan Quinn was there, and then, of course, now making his way to Dallas. So lots of confidence in Dante Fowler Jr. He's got to figure it out early in the season because the Cowboys could certainly use him. For Nick Eatman, I'm Kyle Yeomans. That does it for us in this edition of Inside Cowboys Training Camp. Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford was brought to you by AT&T, official sponsor of the Dallas Cowboys. Sleep Number, the official sleep and wellness partner of the Dallas Cowboys. And by Ford F-Series, the best-selling truck in Texas. Go Cowboys!